Here is a beautiful outpainting canvas that requires no installation. Also, I want to invite you to my Discord. Come there, discuss with me different questions and find help from other users. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Yesterday, I showed you Invoke AI, which is absolutely beautiful from the interface and the functionality. But some of you have been worried that you need to install and upkeep two web UIs on your drive. So today, here is an extension that you can use with Automatic 11.11. And this is running on the website paintwa.com. It's free, you don't have to pay anything. If you're running into any problem with this can click down here on help and here is the link to their discord where you can talk to the community and the developers directly click down here on this help icon and here it says update to the latest version of automatic 1111 and then you want to copy this command here go to your automatic 1111 install folder find the web UI minus user dot bat right click show more options edit and then simply you see here command line arcs paste this at the end and save that file now you double click on the web ui minus user .bat to start automatic 1111 in the command window and leave the command window open and that's already it for the best use of this canvas you also want to open up the automatic 1111 interface because here you can load the different render models the beauty of this canvas is that you can change these models while working on your artwork. So if you find in a certain area when you want to outpaint that, extend your image, you don't get the results you desire. You can simply load a different model here and then try again in this canvas. Now let me show you how easy and beautiful the workflow is. On the left side you have these icons and when you click on prompt you see here a text file where you have the prompt and then below that the negative prompt for everything you don't want to have. The rest of the settings are done here by text not by slider. So you have the seed, the CFG scale, the sampler index where you can write the samplers you want to use, the number of steps, the denoising strength, the impainting fill, the mask blur, the batch size, which is the amount of re-rolls you want to have in one go, and then the impainting full rest. Do you want to have that to false or to true? Now impainting is when you mask something and want to replace that part of the image. Do you want to render that in the full resolution or only in the resolution of the that part usually in the full resolution so you want to write here true where it says false right now also down here where it says config there are some additional settings where you can set the canvas width and height to a maximum of 4096 by 4096 and the minimum size which is the size of the square you see here is 512 but you can set this to anything you want so if you render with a stable diffusion 2.0 model you probably want to set this to 768. once you're done as you can see here on these little icons you mouse click left for generate and right for function so let's mouse click you see here a preview of your settings of what is going on and then you mouse click again left and this is starting to render you can watch the process happening in your command window. I'm rendering four images at the same time. This is why this takes a little bit longer. Once the image has rendered, I have up here my arrows where I can switch between the different versions to decide what I want to have. Or I can click here on this red cross to delete all these options and start fresh. On the left side, you have the check mark. You can click on that to accept that option. Now, when you want to outpaint, I would suggest to you that at minimum, you overlap this by 50% or more. So go like this, or maybe even like this to extend it a little bit. But most of the time I get pleasing results with 50%. So let's extend it on the right side. You can see that again, we got some beautiful options, nice variety. One of them didn't work, but the other ones look really beautiful. And it gives you a lot of chance to figure out how you want to extend your image to the site. Again, you can reject them, you can accept them and then go on. 
If you want to have this render window bigger or not square, click and drag to the side and you see that this will make it bigger. If you click by accident and don't want to render, right click and this will then go back. You can also paint a mask in here, but be sure to know that when you paint that mask, the content of the mask is replaced. The mask is not protecting that area. With the left mouse button, you paint the mask. With the right mouse button, you delete the mask. And with the mouse wheel, you change the size of your brush. You also have a brush option in here where you can paint directly on the canvas. And you can go with the mouse over the image, hold control, and this will color pick. When you click here, this has now picked up the color and you can see I can paint with these colors on the side. So with that, I can, for example, paint the composition that I want to have and then have the AI turn it into an image. Again, with the mouse wheel, you can resize your brush. We also have an image to image mode that you can use. And here we have a undo and redo. You can also use shortcuts for that, as you can see here below the icons. So I can go back on the painting I have done. You can copy parts of the image, you can paste them, you can upload an image onto the canvas from your drive and you can save the image onto your drive. Now here's a very important part. When you save that image, the prompt information and the seed and the settings are not saved inside of the file. So you might want to copy this information over into a text file. Alternatively, I would suggest to you that you start out in the automatic 1111 interface here and create in the text to image tab your starting point because then you have all the information saved inside of the image, including the seat. And when you need that again, go to the PNG info tab, drag the image in here and you see here is the prompt with all of the settings. And as a last detail, you can see that the render box is sticking to the pattern in the background. You can turn it off by clicking here on the grid mode and now you can move the box freely. But personally, I would suggest to use the grid because then everything lines up beautifully. And that's how easy it is to use this. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.